Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Camelia. I am a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, also known as a PMHNP. Um, I'm also a nursing and mental health enthusiast. And um, I'm actually getting on today um, because I have endeavored on this channel to sort of do things in real time. Um, this channel was designed and created to um, kind of give you guys some insight for the PMHNP role, um, which I've tried to do, you know, thus far. Um, but today I wanted to actually just kind of chat with you guys in real time. I did have one of you to ask me about some of the differences between inpatient and outpatient um, uh, in terms of your role as a PMHNP. Um, I won't get into that much here, but I will actually get into um, sort of the role of a PMHNP in the emergency department. And I kind of thought that this would be good timing because I'm actually coming off of a shift today um, from the emergency department, um, behavioral health emergency department. And um, I just thought it would be good to sort of take a pause and share with you guys um, some of the role and the tasks around a PMHNP in the ED. Um, so first, the important thing to know um, as a PMHNP, um, your main role in, as any provider in the emergency room um, your main role is to really assess the patient, evaluate, and uh, to determine um, if the patient is stable or safe enough to return uh, where they came from or to, um, if they're not, you know, making a disposition for them to be evaluated over a longer period of time. Um, in, some in some cases, that means keeping them in the emergency room for another day or so. Um, other times, that means that they could benefit from going up to um, a psychiatric unit where um, they're also going to be evaluated um, on a day-by-day -day basis and um, they'll get, you know, uh, their, you know, therapy and stabilization and monitoring um, on a psychiatric unit. Um, so the main role is, is, is uh, basically deciding the disposition for the patient based on what's going on. Um, it's much different from outpatient because one of the things I've noticed is that you know, you are really um, able to kind of create your own pace. Um, in my role as a PRN employee, um, I'm basically working for about eight hours, um, eight to 10 hours um, each shift. And um, I'm basically going in to um, look at those patients that have come into the emergency room. Some have come in voluntarily, others have come in um, under what we call an involuntary commitment or an IVC. And um, really the goal is to go in and evaluate those patients and determine what should happen um, based on their uh, stabilization, the acuity of what's going on and also uh, their safety. And so today I'll just give you guys a snapshot. Um, the first thing I did, uh, we usually have our assignments sort of made out. Um, the first thing I did was kind of went through and looked at the patient's history in the chart. And um, from there, I sort of gathered, you know, which patients I would see first. And so there is a fair amount of prioritization. Um, in most instances, you know, you're seeing the most acute patients first uh, so that you can create a, a sooner disposition for those patients, um, meaning if they need to go get, you know, get to a hospitalized uh, unit, um, quicker so that they can get started with their treatment. Um, you really want to be able to evaluate them first. Um, but uh, you also, in, in this instance today, what I was able to do is prioritize based on who had not been seen by a provider. Um, and then, of course, the acuity plays into the prioritization. Um, and you, from there, I basically um, just kind of decide on which patients I'm going to go see. Um, and um, from there, I will, I usually am able to um, just really go in and interview each patient. Now, the interview, and I've done a series of a psychiatric interview that's been mostly focused on the outpatient side. Um, the interview is a little different, um, what I found in the emergency room, um, because we're really more focused on the here and now. Um, history is very important. It gives you a lot of information. Many times you can get that from the patient's, you know, electronic medical record. Um, but you also want to know the here and now because you, um, are, again, are making decisions based on that. So the safety of the patient, the acuity of what's going on, that's the here and now. And sometimes the history um, may not be as important when you are making a decision on what needs to happen right now. 
So um, the other difference within the emergency room is that um, you also kind of have your own pace and you um, don't have to see, in most instances, you're not spending um, a set amount of time for each patient. Um, like you would have a 30 minute slot for a follow-up patient or an hour slot for an initial patient um, in the outpatient setting. So it's not quite as rigid. Um, some like that, some don't, um, but it also uh, is a little bit more flexible. Um, you have a little bit more of a variation with the types of patients and diagnoses that you may see. Um, and you can sort of, you know, um, usually make decis decisions on your feet. Um, that's kind of what more so the ED is about and making those decisions. Um, what I have found is that um, I the patients are a lot more acute. Um, so you um, I do, you know, pull from my supervising physician a little more, you know, uh, just to be sure that we're, you know, covering all bases with uh, patient treatment, um, making decisions. A huge part of it is working with the team. So you have a team of usually social workers um, and um, of course, your supervising physician, um, the nurses that work with the patients there on the unit, um, all of those team members are highly valuable and they play a part in helping to make a decision and to paint a picture about what's going on with the patient. Um, there are many times that we have to gather more information, particularly if a patient is petitioned um, from family members and from those that are usually in the environment of the patient, like in their home settings. Um, or other settings. Um, so it's very important to obtain collateral information. And so a part of my day includes get, gathering all of the pieces um, so that we can kind of figure out what's going to be best. Um, we also have to think about safety of other people. So if there are any conditions that, um, that are pressing in the moment where the patient may be at risk for safety toward others, uh, concerns for safety toward others, then we really have to be focused in on that um, as well. Before we discharge someone back home, um, that is really a, a major deciding factor as well. So um, it looks a little different, guys, um, but I can tell you for me, it is very uh, rewarding in that you're still able to support patients in a very great way. Um, today was a very, 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 <laughs> Um, extensive day in that, you know, our emergency room was full and um, there were quite, you know, some acute, you know, conditions to manage and things like that. But um, it definitely is um, a great experience. And if you want to learn and kind of think on your feet, the emergency room is definitely the place to go as a PMHNP. Um, if you like kind of more of the rigid schedule, you kind of know what you're going to get, you know who's going to come in the door, um, then that would, that's where the outpatient setting is usually um, uh, more suiting, uh, suitable for, for that. Um, so this is um, just sort of a snapshot of, of what I did today. Um, I thought it was just good to sort of let you guys know in real time, uh, what is it all about? What do you do as a PMHMP in the emergency room? Um, and so here we are. Um, but if you guys have maybe had, had some experiences in the emergency room as a PMHMP or maybe an FNP or anyone else who wants to, you know, offer any insight here, definitely let me know if your day looks any uh, different um, or if it's uh, pretty similar in terms of your daily tasks in the ED. Um, and if you are uh, if you have any questions for me um, or, you know, anything else that you'd like to share, definitely just post that in the comments. Um, thank you again, guys. Most of you have asked some really great questions um, and you've been engaged here. So I really do appreciate it. Um, I'll keep uh, trying to share as we go along um, and really uh, give you guys more insight into the PMH&P role. Thank you.